Hey, it's Ed here. Today we're taking a look at technical analysis for S&P 500 with Elite Way Theory. Let's start here on 30 minute time frame and looking at these three different scenarios that I have got prepared for you today. And this one, this one is the only one that is actually giving us more bullish vibes from these current lows. Um, the idea here that we've been talking about S&P 500 has been these two pivot points, the highs that we had here and the lows that we had here. Either we would be creating this as an ABC or um, we would be taking out these highs and continuation to the upside. The idea of this WXY count is that we are correcting higher where the target would be, um, well, if this was the pivot, it would be way higher. However, the thing here is that for X wave to be put in place, I think we either need to be correcting this a bit longer in time or we would be dropping a bit lower because we did not even hit the 382 retracement. That is very common to see at least to be hit. And because again, the way W here was not, although it was not impulsive, it was actually moving somewhat um, while this wave X here started from these highs and created a very sideways pattern ended at these lows here. So basically it just wasted the time. Um, and it wouldn't be too uncommon to see this being wasting more time um, way beyond the one to one extension of that way W. So keep that in mind while thinking that this, while well, this could be the bottom here for this local structure, but again, there is very much of a chance that we could be still ranging for quite some time, especially if, if nothing comes through this week's news events. But I, th I feel like that is highly un uh, unlikely, but we'll see. The other counts were that we had this as a five wave structure here into A wave, B wave here, and then five waves up for that C wave, getting closer and closer to the one to one extension. Then we would be looking for a structure starting from here. Uh, the comparison between these two is that the other structure has ended a structure here, while this would be the starting structure um, of this. If we are thinking this as a five wave move, because again, we had some kind of divergence at the end, uh, we could be thinking that this would be a five wave structure up, looking for a three wave pullback here, and then continuation to the downside. I'm still on my shorts from, uh, from these highs on S&P 500. I took profits down here and closed some positions there, but I still have some uh, left. I think I'm going to be reopening some here against this high here, although again, a smaller position size goes again, larger stop loss. Um, but, but yeah, that, that is the plan here. Mm. The other count that we had here was that we had a five wave in wave one, three wave pullback in wave two, five waves again on three, then uh, three waves on wave four, a complex WXY here, and then fives on fifth. Um, not really good looking as a diagonal at all, but again, this would be a leading diagonal because again, we can't allow, or we don't allow um, ending diagonals to have threes, oh sorry, fives. So this is a leading diagonal. I don't really have a good looking structure, a realistic one um, where this would be a start of something, but again, this is going to get more likely if we are just breaking these highs um, at some point. I do feel like this needs to be some kind of corrector, correcting structure before that is going to happen, where we would be doing something like that. Um, because again, this amount of time to correct this whole structure does not really seem too relevant at this point. Uh, so I do think that we are going to be needing at least this kind of structure coming down, um, at least, even if not more. But that is the, uh, those are the medium time frame uh, structures or the lower time frame structures. Let's zoom in for this very low time frame. Although we have very choppy moves here with the news events, um, one could just look at this structure as far away somehow. Uh, I haven't really um, labeled it now because again, it is so ugly. Um, there is a chance that this structure here is some kind of triangle. I can't really fit it into account either, but there was also a chance where this was a expanded flat. So these are again, um, the ending structures of, uh, of impulse waves. Again, triangle can be only appearing in wave four. It is more common to see also a flat structure in impulse waves at the end of wave four. So if we have some kind of one to set up at the highs, we could be ending a countdown here. 
And again, if we are taking out the, into these lows as the fifth wave, we would not even have a uh, truncation against the third here. Although this, as this would be the B wave of that wave four, right? Um, but yeah, that's that. Um, this again, very choppy move. It looks more like a three wave structure than five waves. However, the next structure here does have some kind of a, some kind of influence on this. I feel like it is looking kind of impulsive. There is a way you could be labeling this one, two, three, four, five into these highs. Then we would have a pullback here, very short one for wave two. Then we would have another, some kind of fireway structure into these highs and then four. Of course, depending on your view here, uh, we could be saying that one of these highs would be a third of third. So either we would have this as a third of third or this would be already a third of this whole structure, creating something like that. We are, note that we are already creating divergences here. Um, so um, most likely some kind of move, at least to the downside is to happen at some point, uh, once these uh, divergences are going to be playing out. Of course, if we are just pumping here in RSI as well, um, these divergences are going to get uh, removed or canceled. So then they don't have any effect anymore. And then we can definitely pump higher. But these lower time frames, fives, tens, are giving us divergences here. So that at least is good to keep in mind. There is also a possibility where we are going to get towards that one to one extension, which would be around 4063 4, here. Um, at that point, latest, I'm looking for that short opportunity against these highs. If we are still thinking again that this would be a. Uh, a fireway move down, and this would be a corrective wave structure correcting this first move down. Um, but yeah, I think that is the idea here today. Of course, today's the CPI data are going to be a lot of volatility during that time. So we'll see where this is going to go. Again, uh, the pivot points would be breaking this high, then we probably is go are going to get higher. And if we break this one, then we are using this as the start of something. And this would be the continuation. But again, that is all I got for you today. If you made it this far into the video again, I would appreciate the likes. Link to my free Discord server in the description below. And for now, I thank you for watching and hope you have an amazing rest of your day. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.